Hello again everyone. So here I have yet another classic vintage telephone from my collection to show you. Now this is such an interesting phone to me because it was never all that popular at the time and they tend to be quite rare these days because of that. Now this one's a really nice example and it's in very good condition for its age. It's a 1981 GPO or British Telecom 782 in the two-tone grey colour. Now the 782 was basically a press button touch tone version of the GPO 746 which was a rotary phone and the only difference between this and a 746 was that they took out the dial and put a touch tone keypad in place. That's essentially it, they're pretty much identical. Now the 782 had some slight changes to the circuitry on the network but that's neither here nor there. So the 782 was first introduced in 1977 and it ran up until about 1985-1986, some time around there. And the problem the 782 had was that when they first came out in the late 70s, not many telephone exchanges were equipped for the new digital network which was handling the digital DTMF or MF4 touch tones. Um, most exchanges at the time were traditional Stroudshire exchanges which would only accept pulse dialing, which is rotary dialing. So, although these phones are available, not all subscribers could have a 12 button touch tone phone because their exchange wouldn't handle the tones. Now, there were some exchanges that domestic subscribers were on um, which would handle the tones, but they were, you know, few and far between. So, these 782 touch tone phones tended to be more popular in commercial establishments where they had PBX systems. So that little lecture out of the way of why these phones weren't popular, let's have a closer look at the phone. So if I just bring it closer to the camera, as you can see there's the keypad. It has these nice rectangular buttons, so of course it goes 1 through to 0 and you also have the star and the number sign. I made the number card for it there in the um, period correct style. So as you can see it says 061320, so the new area code um, post 1995, as in today, would be 0161, but I did it as 061 to keep with the um, period of this phone, so I thought that was cool. But as you can see it says operator 100 emergency 999, so if I just pop this back into view here, if I zoom in slightly you'll be able to see the keypad in better detail. There we go. As you can hear, the buttons have a nice sound. They have rather a retro sound to them, in my opinion. So here's the handset. It's a darker grey than the main body. Um, it does show up brown in certain lights. I found that GPO tended to use rather bizarre shades of colours. But it is definitely grey. So there's the receiver and there's the transmitter. If I unscrew the receiver cap, you'll be able to see that it is dated 81. Now the transmitter I did replace with an electronic type because they do give better transmission. I'll just hang that up real quick because it'll give me the off hook tone soon. So here's the electronic transmitter. And what's really cool about this is, as you can see, it's dated 81. Um, now this did have a carbon transmitter originally, but I have a friend who is a phone enthusiast. I believe he's called Neil. Um, and he sent me that, so that was very nice of him. He didn't even charge me for it, so that was very nice. Thank you, Neil, if you're watching. So let's have a look around the back. As you can see it has the uh, original handset card and that's in very good shape. There's the carry handle. Now this line card is one of those aftermarket replacements in the matching colour or near as damn, you know. Um, and that has the 431A BT plug on which we still use today. And of course the keypad is just numeric. Um, Alpha numeric went out sometime in the early 70s. So the base here, you can see it says MF, which means multi-frequency, as in touch tone. 782, made by the manufacturer GEN in 1981. And there's the post office authorised release stamp from when it was originally rented. And there are the two twin bells, which give the traditional 700 ring, 
which is really nice. And you can see the feature intact as well, so that's really cool. So the 782 was available in two colours only. You could get it in ivory or two-tone grey like you see here. Now because this is basically the same as a rotary 746, the case and everything is interchangeable so you could get whatever colour casing you wanted and I suppose spray this um, keypad back plate in the relevant colour because these cases are totally interchangeable so I guess people may have done that over the years. But anyway, let's have a listen to the tones. They have a rather raw sound when you press them because of course it's an early touch tone phone. So I just dial zero first because if I dial, start dialing these in order, I'll ring the speaking clock on one, two, three. So here we go. So there you go. So without further ado, let's dial out a number and see the phone working. So here's the dial tone. Hello, and thank you for calling Morrison's Denton. To hear our store opening hours, please press 1. Our store opening hours are Monday to Saturday, 7am to 10pm, and Sunday, 10am to 4pm. So there you go. So as you can hear, it does work fine. We can dial one other number. Dial tone. So there you go. Very nice phone indeed. So. Without further ado, let's give a ringing demonstration and you can hear the classic 700 series bells. So here we go, here's the ringer. So there we are very very nice phone indeed and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching and there'll be more to come in the very near future thanks for watching see you soon